Hey, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWayPen.com. Uh, in this video, um, I'm going to make a small attachment for my uh, works blower. Um, it came with uh, several attachments I bought on Amazon a while back. My shop back burned out on me, and uh, because of just moving, Downsizing, I didn't want to spend money on a shop vac because I don't have, really don't have space for it. And um, I needed a blower more than I needed a shop vac. So I bought this little blower, works blower. I'll put a link to it in the description and there's an image to follow. But um, it came with a bunch of little um, attachments and uh, I already had a works uh, edger. So this only makes sense for me to buy the works uh, blower because of the battery pack and a, an additional charger so um, besides I liked it because it wasn't too powerful because of the landscaping I had done in my backyard uh, the blower will blow the dirt dust and leaves and all that and not disturb any of the gravel and stuff like that so with uh, other blowers but anyway um, this is the little jig that I made it doesn't look like much so I just took some scrap wood a couple layers of it cut it out with a uh, four inch hole saw jig on the drill press glued them together and I put some tape around it to make up the difference in the seal from the four inch dust collection so you can see where I have my four inch hose uh, this goes to my dust collection obviously this comes from the uh, the, the blower the battery operated blower so it's like a chain uh, this the blower sends the air this way and that captures it in here with the vacuum on it sucks it out even more so although I'm using more electricity than I would if I was using a shop vac this just allows me that much more flexibility so because this is a long hose I don't have to worry about in my garage dragging um, a shop back with an extension cord in anywhere. So this works out good for my needs because it's a small space. Uh, the blue tape makes up for the seal and that wedges in there. This is just a little bit of CA glue and uh, some accelerator. So that works out really well and it's a nice um, tight fit. So anyway, that is... Uh, that is it, and uh, thank you for watching. Okay, I'm turning on the vacuum. Okay, the vacuum's on. This is on.
Okay, so you can see uh, this does a pretty decent little job. On uh, the previous picture, I showed how the funnel right here, it had a little grade in the bottom. I didn't take a picture of the grate before I punched that out because it was getting clogged up. So I unclogged that. Now that flows really good uh, as far as the vacuum goes. So anyway, a cheap little uh, fix for a shop vac. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good day.